What's up, everybody? We are back for another Lyric Breakdown. I think I'm just going in order now from my newest release back to the first Zach Gray song ever. Maybe I'll switch it up. I don't know. Right now, I'm feeling the backwards chronological vibe. So, in the backwards chronological vibe, after Pseudo Love, I'm pretty sure I checked my Spotify today. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure this is right, though. Is Hard Not to Let You Go by Cinemata and myself. Yo, if uh, you didn't already listen to it, yo, this song is it's hard. It's a hard song. It's dope. I like it. Came out on Heaven Sent. Um, so I'm going to use the Airwave Music TV. Shout out to Airwave Music TV. They've been a big supporter for a long time to play the video and then I'm going to put up I'm going to put up the art so I'll like I'm going to play it and then we'll put up this guy because you know got to have the robots fighting you know butterflies coming at me I mean you never see the fight but I'm just saying he's limber you know butterfly you better watch out I'm going to get you you know my lion cheetah something griffin I don't know maybe he's got wings hidden in there I don't know He's a transformer or something. That's all I'm saying. You better watch out. Anyways, we're friends. We might fight. The song is emotional. It's got love and tension and all the things. It's got all the things that I personally like in a song. All right. Let's listen to this, and then we're going to break it down. Okay. So, yeah, we got Airwave TV. They did the whole lyrics. That's why we're going to do this one, and then we're going to, you know, we'll put the, the artwork back up. Shout out to Heaven Sent. All right, here we go. All the rules that she Let you go. 
as you guys can probably see, I really like air drumming. I think I play the drums. I mean, I know how to play the drums. I feel like I would be a great drummer. And I feel like I, I know a lot of people who were singers and they want to be a drummer. And I've known drummers who want to be singers. But all those people I know, they're like, they're a better singer or they're a better drummer. But anyways, I love playing the drums. It's cool to be like in the back, just mm, rocking out, dude. Like when I really love a song I'm in my car, oh, dude, get you just get the drums going, dude. You know what I mean? Anyways, all right, let's break these lyrics down. All right, let's put up the, uh, there we go. The fight is about to begin. Okay, all right, so this song is about a relationship. Hard Not to Let You Go is, yeah, it's like you're at a point where it's hard not to let that person go. Uh, it's a cool way of saying that, like, it's over, or you know what I mean? So I really like it. Um, all right, into the first verse. All the rules that you force slowly pull me away. Yeah, you know, when you feel like you can't, yeah, you can't live up to someone else's expectation or their, you know, their certain box that they want you to be in, you know, it's like these rules that they're trying to force on you. And at some point, you know, it's like they're trying to get what they want or what they think they deserve or, or you know, whatever. And sometimes those times, you know, even though it's in the vein of trying to get what they want or trying to fix things, it pulls you away. So, yeah, pretty simple. All the rules that you force slowly pull me away. Um, every night I was searching is like searching for how can we make this better. And, you know, in this particular relationship – um, this is definitely a real song to me. It's like all, most of my songs come from something real that I experienced. And this was definitely one. Um, yeah, every night I was searching. So it's like trying to fix what's going on. Um, you know, the other person just kept kind of just bringing up the past or just like old things that happened. So I really love that line. You know, every night I was searching, you had my, had my worst on repl- on replay, um, So it's like, yeah, in their head, it was just like all the times that it was bad. It's like those things kept coming up. It's like anytime you bring something to the future um, from the past, you're just making the past or you're making the future, excuse me, bad. It's like, you know, yeah, I mean, even in your own life, it's like, you know, a lot of people are just this story of, you know, they keep bringing all their past into every day. It's like, yo, leave the past in the past. Stop replaying it over and over and over again. It's over, you know? Um, I'm cold and I tried to wait is, I guess, trying to wait for things to get better, but it's cold. It's like, it's not warm. It's not feeling good. Um, Even so, I could not escape. Um, I've always been, I always try to fix things. I feel like I really only give up at the end if there's, I really just feel like it's just, it just has to happen. You know, if it's really, you know, at some point it's hard not to let someone go if it, if it really doesn't work. So, um, but yeah, the whole not being able to escape is sometimes just feeling trapped or not wanting to give up or yeah. Um, I'm gone when my mind's awake is, you know, just that like, you're awake and, but your mind is just somewhere else. Your mind's gone. It's not there. It's not in the present. It's just thinking about, um, what, just whatever. I know it's like kind of being numb. I mean, we've all been in relationships with someone where it's not working and your mind's just, you're awake, but your mind is just, it's gone. It's somewhere else, you know, trying to not even think about what's going on in the moment sometimes. So, um, even now there's nothing to say, uh, we're ending the verse is, yeah, I mean, I think we've all been there too where there's just nothing left to say. You've hashed out everything. There's just almost no more talking. And I think that's obviously a terrible place to be in any relationship. But, yep, so that's kind of where I was feeling those lyrics right there. Um, we're getting into this pre-chorus part. This pre-chorus part, um, definitely, you know, one of, if not my favorite parts of the song um, it only happens once in the first verse. So, uh, we thought about the song's already kind of long. Me and Anthony talked about, um, putting it in the second verse, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it, the song would have been longer. And I think the, uh, this part here just works really nice as this, it's almost like this bridge in the first verse 
it's like its own hook that you don't get anywhere else. So, you know, if you guys have watched more of these lyric breakdowns on this one, we talk about these different places where we do these like bridge sections, these like B or C sections. So this is one of them for this song. It's pretty cool. It's like a longer kind of intro uh, verse. Um, so yeah, we have this, this pre-chorus bridge section. Um, you drag me down like a body in the cold. This is pretty, um, I guess, uh, I don't even brutal. I get, I mean, it's just super direct honesty, just like, you know, it's, it's kind of, um, I can't think of the right word, but, um, it's like, dang, wow. You know, but it's serious. It's like, dude, that was good. That's how you feel sometimes. It's like you drag me down like a body in the cold, you know, if there's a dead body and it's cold and it's probably going to sink. You know, I know it's a little, it's a little morbid, but you know, sometimes it feels like that. Um, couldn't bear the crown that you made me to be whole. And I like that line just because it's like, you know, imagine this like crown of what, um, someone else's expectations or their idea of what they want you to be is. And, um, you know, it's like they made it for you. So to think that, it can make you whole or the relationship whole. Um, but it's just too heavy. It's like, I just couldn't bear it. So I like that. Yeah. So couldn't bear the crown that you made me to be whole. Um, and that's its own little section. Um, yeah. So then we get to the chorus. Um, maybe a little esoteric right here, but we're going to try to kind of talk through this. Um, yeah. So throw your fire out when you cut low. Do you see us burning now? Um, I guess, I guess it goes, Throw your fire out, period. Um, and maybe when you cut low, period. So throw your fire out, I think is... I feel like I sang those in the mumbles. Maybe it just sounded really great and it still works, but it's just so interesting when I tried to... Uh, some of these esoteric lyrics trying to explain them. Um, throw your fire out is... Maybe it could be two ways. Is like when you have this anger or your fire, it's like throw it out somewhere else you know, or maybe it's, um, when the fire's thrown out at you uh, or the other person, you know, you're throwing the fire out. So throw your fire out. I like to think about it as like throw your, that negativity or the pa- negativity of the past, like out, throw it out. And then, so period after that, I guess. And then when you cut low, do you see us burning now? Um, we come back to the fire. So when you cut low, Maybe that's actually when, when the, okay, actually, you know what? I mean, when the fire is thrown at you, it feels like it's, you know, cuts you, cuts you low in your heart or in your soul. And, uh, do you see us burning now is, you know, when the fire is being thrown at you, when you're cutting low, when, when my worst is on replay, um, all these things, it's like, do you see that these things that are happening are making us burn or fall apart? Um, yeah. And then, you know, so we're kind of all in the verse and the pre-chorus. We're talking, it's like, it's kind of sad. It's like, this is what's going on. And these are all the problems. And then as we start to get to, I feel like in, in all my songs, there's some kind of, even if the song is more, um, it's more serious. I feel like I always still have this something positive in there. It's just gotta have something for the most part, most of my songs. So um, do you see us burning now? And then we got lift your, lift your heart up, lift, let your mind go somewhere back before we lost the way. And that's like this last kind of hope of like, lift your heart up, get it back to where, you know, it was and, uh, let your mind go somewhere back before we lost the way. It's a beautiful, like, I love that line so much. It's like, you know, like look beyond everything that's going on and try to remember back, back when it was good, back to, you know, back before we lost the way back before the arguments and all this stuff. I actually just got chills just thinking about it because it's beautiful. It's beautiful when you're, you're with someone and, and you know, it's like, you've just been with them for a minute and there's all these things and, and you just, you just wish you could just like go back or like, so it's just this, this like beg, I guess, like, like let your mind go back, you know, when it was good. So I don't know. I love it. Uh, it's really cool when lyrics come together in certain ways and they paint these cool pictures. And, um, so yeah. And then we come back to, I guess, you know, kind of a, it's not going to work kind of, kind of thing. And, uh, but maybe, you know, it's hard not to let you go, which is, it maybe leaves up for something that could happen. Um, but, uh, but yeah, 
let your mind go somewhere back before we lost the way. Hard not to let you go. And hard not to let you go is, yeah, with everything that's going on, it's hard not to let you go. Um, it's an interesting way to say, like, we need to not be together anymore, but um, it's cool. Um, yep. So then, you know, hard not to let you go and let you go repeat a bunch of times. Um, obviously, I think that's self-explanatory. So let's go on to the second verse. So yeah, a lot of my songs, um, you know, I have something that's also in the first verse and the second verse. It's like you're looking at your, um, yeah, you can look at your verses as their own little hooks where you can repeat stuff. So I come right back into that first melody. All the rules that you force slowly pull me away. And then I change it up. So it's like you hit them with something familiar and then I change it up on the second two lines. Um, And all the times I was honest, you threw it back in my face. So there's those moments of relationships where it's like, uh, you're just trying to be honest, you know, and, and sometimes like the truth and the honesty, it like hurts or, or they'll take you trying to be honest or, or like be vulnerable and, and somehow they'll just twist it and just like throw it back at you. I feel like we've all been in that situation. So that's, you know, we're going back to the story of what's going on and, um, that's that part. So, um, then even in the, the second part of the, Second verse, which is kind of like our pre-chorus before the other drag me down pre-chorus, which is not going to happen again. We're just going to go right back into the chorus. Um, I'm cold and I tried to wait, which is the same line as the first time. And then I changed up the second line. Um, Somewhere dark, I'm starting to fade. Um, I feel like that line's pretty self-explanatory. It's like, um, you know, you're trying to wait, but, you know, you're slowly fading because of everything that's going on. Um, I'm gone when my mind's awake. We already talked about that one. Um, Even though it's still my mistake. Um, I like this line because uh, I think a lot of times in relationships, we want to blame the other person. And I feel like that's just a huge thing in culture and society. It's like this, um, you know, some people are victims of things. I'm not saying that something doesn't happen, but I made a very important decision in my life a long, 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 long time ago, which was to take responsibility for everything that's in my life, no matter how bad it seems and no matter what anyone says, even if it seems like it really wasn't my fault at all, I always still try to look at myself and be like, I'm in this situation because of me. And I think even if the worst thing in your life happens to you, to be able to look back in yourself and take that responsibility, it's very freeing. Um, and secondly, you know, to that is like, if someone did really hurt you, even if it was your fault, it's like, forgive them, forgive yourself. So anyways, moving on, um, even though it's not my mistake. So that's kind of, I feel like what I'm referring to in that. Um, then, yep, go back to uh, the chorus, throw your fire out, back into um, chorus again, and then we end with the chorus. Um, and I just love ending with that, let your mind go somewhere back before we lost the way, which is ending on this like positive thing of like, let's remember like what it used to be before we lost what was was good about this um anyways uh yeah if you like this video leave a comment hit the like button subscribe to my channel i'm going to be doing lyric breakdowns for all my songs at some point and all my new ones that come out if you guys have a song you'd like me to do next i'm going to probably still do in some kind of order but please let me know um yeah if you haven't already go check out um i guess you just listen to it if you uh are watching this video, but, um, love my boy, Cinemata, Anthony. We have an incredible, an incredible, incredible, probably one of my favorite songs, uh, I've ever made. It's going to come out, um, sometime next year. I'm not going to give it away yet, but it is incredible. I'm super excited to do a lyric breakdown on that as well. And, um, yeah, so go show some love to Cinemata. Um, he's got some great music. Uh, I'm going to put all the links, um, heaven sent, uh, Cinemata me all in the description. And uh, yeah, as always, much love. God bless. I'll see you guys soon. Like and subscribe.